At a health clinic in Nairobi, residents queue to get a COVID-19 jab. Health workers say since two weeks ago when the government announced the vaccine mandate, they have been vaccinating up to 300 people a day compared with just a handful when the vaccination campaign began. We've seen, for example, we used to do 60 to 70,000 vaccination, but two days after that, we went to 100,000. A day? A day, yes. And we've maintained over 100,000 vaccination each day. Yesterday, we did 108,000. And last week, we did a record 128,000 vaccination on a single day. The Kenyan government has justified the mandate, indicating that more than 95% of those seeking treatment for COVID-19 are the unvaccinated. Unvaccinated people shed out more viruses. They infect the vaccinated people. So you have to protect. It's not only the rights of the unvaccinated that is important. Also those who are vaccinated like me here now in a government office, I have to continue serving people. I will only be comfortable if the people coming here for service are vaccinated. Also remember Kenya is a tourist destination and people are looking at how prepared we are in preventing COVID. So if we do not have measures that give confidence, then we start losing out as a, a, a tourist destination. But there is a bigger reason. Vaccine doses stocks. After months of severe shortages, vaccine supplies have been ramped up following donations as well as direct purchases from manufacturers. To date, we have a total, we have received a total of just over 20 million doses of the vaccine. We have administered 7.6 million doses of this vaccine. That means we have at least 13 million doses of vaccines available to us to deliver to Kenyans in the shortest time possible. Okay. On Wednesday, Ministry of Health announced an initiative where religious institutions would offer their places of worship as vaccine centers as government rushes to increase uptake. With less than 10% of its population fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and with about 13 million vaccine doses in store, Kenya is in a race against time to ensure that nothing goes to waste. Hence, the vaccine mandate. Other African countries have, however, not been so lucky. Nigeria, Namibia, among those who have destroyed some of their vaccine doses. Getting the jabs into the arms of those who need it most, it seems, will be an uphill task for the continent's health officials. Apart from vaccine hesitancy, most countries lack the capacity to quickly deliver the shots. This may include setting up more vaccination sites as well as increasing cold chain facilities. Without this, the continent will be staring at wastage as donations with short shelf lives arrive on the continent. Africa CDC says lack of coordination between donors and those receiving the jobs has complicated rollouts. Currently, we only ex uh, accept donations that have 90 days or three months to expiry to give us enough time to deploy them. Apart from infrastructure, Dr. Huele warns that unless Africa begins manufacturing its own pharmaceutical products, then more vaccine doses may also mean more wastage. The main challenge going forward, for me, what I predict, is the, what you call the ancillary items, the consumables, the syringes and the needles. If the demand goes high, it could really outstrip. You could have a vaccine, but you will be unable to vaccinate. So that's an area we need to invest in. Those syringes, needles, safety boxes, the materials required to actually conduct the vaccination. Currently, Africa produces just 1% of its medicines and other pharmaceutical products. Sarah Kemani, SBC News, Kenya.